Yo guys, it is Chrono Fairy. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to install the Fabric Mod Loader for Minecraft version 1.16 or 1.16.1. And this tutorial will work pretty much the same for any future version of Minecraft as well. So what is Fabric Mod Loader, right? It is pretty much the same as Minecraft Forge. They are both prerequisites for installing a lot of other Minecraft mods. Therefore, it's pretty important to install it. So how you guys install Fabric Mod Loader is really, really simple. You want to head to the link in the description, which will take you to this page, which is the official Fabric Mod Loader website. And you can see that you have two different uh, installer files here. Now, if you are on Windows, you want to go ahead and click this to download the .exe file here. But if you are on Mac OS and you can't open .exe files, then you want to download this other installer here, which is a jar file. And you can see that your Chrome might say that this type of file can harm your computer, but don't worry, this is the official Fabric Mod Loader site, so it's safe to keep the file here. So you can see that these are the two files that are downloaded here. So this one is the .exe for Windows. So if you double click here, it will launch the uh, installation client here. And if you are on Mac or other OS, you want to double click this jar file here. You want to use this jar file instead, and you can see that it works the same as the Windows version. But one thing to keep in mind is that if you're using Mac OS or basically anything that is in Windows and you're using this jar file here as the installation uh, file, you want to make sure that if you double click, right, and it, if it opens using WinRAR or 7-Zip or other archiving software like that, you don't want that to happen. So what you want to do is you want to right click, open with, instead of open with WinRAR, which might be your default option when you double click it, instead you want to open with and you want to select Java so that way you get the normal installation client which is the same as the Windows one. So you can select your install location here and you can choose whether you want to install for a client or server. And for the purposes of this video, we'll be installing it for a client, your single player world, right? So we will just click install. And there you go. Uh, you have installed it successfully. You want to run your Minecraft, right? So you want to click your Minecraft launcher. You want to select the fabric loader profile. So you can see I have a forge one here, but of course, you want to select the newly installed Fabric Loader Profile. Just click play. It'll take a while to start up. And if you guys are watching this and you still have not liked the video, be sure to drop a like because it helps more people see these tutorials and benefit from them. So once you have opened your Minecraft client, you can see that uh, it says at the bottom left-hand corner, Minecraft 1.16.1 Fabric Modded. So this means that you have installed the Fabric Mod Loader successfully, but you're not done yet because you still have to install the Fabric API, which is required for most Minecraft mods that uses the Fabric Mod Loader. So what you want to do is you want to head back to this page here, right? And you can see that it says here, most mods will also require you to install the Fabric API into the mods folder. So you want to open the Fabric API here and you want to click download. Okay, so you want to keep this jar file here. And what you basically want to do as per the instructions here, you want to put this uh, API jar file into the mods folder. So that's why you need to open your Minecraft launcher once first in order to generate the mods folder. And now you want to drag this jar file into your mods folder. So how you navigate to your mods folder is by opening your Windows Explorer and typing percent app data percent and you hit enter. You can see that you have a dot Minecraft folder here. And there you have it. There is your mods folder. What you want to do is you want to drag it inside. And there you have it. You have your fabric API. So now that you have successfully installed fabric mod loader and fabric API, the next step would be to install mod menu. Now this is not compulsory. Fabric mod loader and fabric API are required in order for most fabric mods to work. But this mod menu is not compulsory, but I highly recommend it because it will show you a list of all the mods that you've installed, which comes in really handy. So just make sure you've installed your fabric loader and fabric API, you know, uh, as per how I showed you guys earlier on. Then you just want to download this file. Again, link is in the description to the mod menu. Highly recommend you install this along with the fabric mod loader and fabric API as well. So you want to download this and again, it's really, really simple. You want to go to your mods folder and you just want to drag the jar file in like so. And you are pretty much done. So once you have launched Minecraft, you can see that the screen now looks different. There's actually a mods button here. This is thanks to the mods menu, which I show you guys how to install earlier on just by dragging the jar file in. So once you click on this uh, mods button, it shows you the list of mods that you have installed uh, with Fabric Mod Loader. In this case, we've just installed mod menu. So any future Fabric mods that you install here will show up in this list. So this is similar to Forge interface. If you guys use Minecraft Forge, it's similar to the, uh, the Minecraft Forge mods folder interface as well. So it looks something like that. And that's pretty much it. So again, 
the mod menu is not compulsory, but if you do not install the mod menu, right, then you won't have this uh, mods button that you can click on to view all your mods. So it's just really nice to have so that you can see all the mods that you've installed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I upload Minecraft content here on a regular basis. Unique Minecraft content, not just tutorials, but other kinds of Minecraft content like Hypixel Bit Wars and stuff like that. Uh, there will be a card on screen right now where you can click to watch my Forge installation tutorial for Minecraft version 1.16. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section down below and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.